Welcome to chapter 14 of our book Hercules and Hercules and Greta are on the back of artifacts uh, flying across the lake. Chapter 14. With a cluck, artifacts emerged from the mist and stepped back upon onto dry land, feet thudding on soft sand. They had crossed the lake to the far shore. Avalon was behind them. Up ahead were endless hills and forests the kingdom of Petrosia. Artifacts slowed to a stop, his sides heaving, and began preening his feathers. Hercules lay in Greta's hand, miserable. In the dark stillness, she leaned into her palm so close that he felt the warm wind of her breath. Are you alive? Unfortunately, yes, said Hercules. I'm sorry. Sorry? What for? It was only supposed to be a little adventure, I promise, but it ended up a huge disaster, didn't it? Now you won't get your happily ever after, and my Fleemly will be homeless, and I, I never ever should have left the house hat. He trailed off. Greta's eyes shone. Her shoulders shook. She was giggling. What's so funny? She threw back her head and howled with laughter so hard she fell off artifacts and onto the sand. Oh, Hercules, she cried, tears streaming from her odd coloured eyes. You're not a disaster. You're incredible. You're unbeflevable. You're parasiticulous. The best pest in all the world. You're perfect. What a hero I'm going to be bringing back to Tumba. Hercules hopped to his feet. Did you just call me a hero? Greta grinned, jumping up and down and dancing around artefacts, who cocked his head and squawked. Not just a hero, but exactly the right type of hero too. Hercules gawked. I am? Of course, laughed, laughed Greta. You're a giant slayer. You saved me from Prince Zin and from Ugor. Compared to, compared to you, those two are colossal. And she gave him an enormous slobbery kiss. <coughs> he spluttered, yuck. Greta froze. Oh, yuck, she cried. Of course, we have to get you to Tumba so you can fight yuck. Don't worry, you won't have to do it on your own. You can teach the Tumba folk about giant slaying and they'll help. Hercules blinked. What could he teach the Tumba folk? All he'd done was bite someone's finger, then hide in a pig's nostril and cause a small explosion. And yet the thought made him puff with pride. He was a giant slayer, a heroic giant slayer. We've got to leave right now, Greta said. We'll have to go through the forests. My boat is back in Avalon, and so is my other clog. But we've got artefacts. She looked at the great bird's tiny wings and sighed. I wish Prince Zin had bred your wings a bit bigger, then we could fly over the trees instead of stumbling through them. She turned to Hercules. No time to lose. Are you ready? It was all happening so fast. Greta was asking him to join her on another adventure. She wanted him to save her again. His destiny was unfolding right in front of him. So why was he hesitating? Shouldn't we go back to Avalon first, he said. We have to explain what happened, or... Greta scowled. You saw what Ugor tried to do. He'll be watching if I so much as set foot on that island. And then there's Stickler. Her face went dark with rage. He tried to have me killed. Maybe he made a mistake. Maybe it was an administrative error. Hercules trailed off. He knew Greta was right. Stickler was just as villainous as Prince Zin and Ugor. He only cared about his business, his reputation and his gold. Greta knew his dark secret and if they returned to Avalon, Stickler would try to get rid of her and maybe Hercules too. This isn't about Stickler anymore, Greta said, pulling him from his thoughts. This is about Tumba. She pointed up at the last sliver of moon. Tomorrow... When the moon is new, Yuck will come to guzzle everyone I've ever known. Won't you help? Hercules hopped back and forth across her palm, trying to make the right choice. He could return to Avalon and bring Stickler to justice, or go to Tumba and rescue the people there from Yuck. 
Mm. What do you think he should do? Should he go back to Avalon and sort out Mr. Stickler? Or should he go with Greta to Tumba and save all the folk there? They're going to get guzzled. Mm. At last he said, I'll come with you, Greta. But first, I have to go back to Happily Ever Afters. She stared at him. But I have to warn my flemily, said Hercule, Hercules firmly. They might be in danger. What if Stickler tries to hurt them too? But I'm small. I can sneak back to Avalon without being spotted. I'll go straight to the owners of Best Quest or Heroes for Hire and tell them the truth. But stop saying but. I have to do this. I don't have a choice. Greta scowled. Neither do I. Her hand closed into a fist, squeezing him like the coils of a python. Greta, what are you doing? Let me go. He bit and kicked and tried to jump but she only tightened her grip. Ride, artifacts, she called, leaping onto the bird's back. They hurtled forwards into the trees and entered the land of Petrosia. Mm. So, Hercules cannot go back at the moment. Greta's got him in her fist. 